Hey everybody, it's Charlie from Daily Motor. Welcome to the live drive of the 2021 Mazda CX-5 Signature. We're gonna spend the next hour or so driving this thing around and talking about what makes the CX-5 so good. Sorry for the little bit of the delay there, having some issues with the hotspot, but hopefully we got a nice strong connection for you now and throughout the rest of the drive. And if you're joining us after the fact and you wanna join in live in the future, hit that subscribe button to get notified on Tuesdays and Fridays when we go live. Let us know if you're in the chat and we'll get to your chats here in a few minutes. Starting off, this is one of my absolute favorite colors on any car on the new market today here in 2021, Soul Red Crystal here on the Mazda. You can get it in just about every Mazda that I know of, but it really looks the part and it helps set this car off and just make it look classy. Now, obviously this is the signature trim, meaning it's top dog, rocking the turbocharged version of the engine. I think it's a, uh, I'm blank, I'm pretty sure it's a two liter turbo. It might two and be a, a half? It's a two and a half, yeah, you're right. It's a two and a half liter. Um, plenty gutsy, lots of torque. I think it's 310 pound feet of torque. So it really gets up and goes for your usable sort of daily driving. You got Alyssa behind the camera, everybody say hello. Lots of decent styling accents to this car. The wheels look good. The little chrome bits look good. Also, shout out to us picking up a little foam thing for the GoPro, so hopefully you're not getting blasted with wind noise <laughs> Wind noise right now, but let us know if you ever need us to speak up. I think this is still, even though it's been refreshed here a few years ago, still one of the best looking mid-size crossovers on the market. Really and the sales have been supporting that. Sales for the, for the CX-5 have been really strong. In fact, I saw recently that, that I think so far in 2021, the CX-5 has outsold the Ford Escape. Wow. Yeah, really impressive. Wow, you see Ford Escapes everywhere. Exactly, yeah. So for this car to be continually doing this well, we're really happy with it. So let us know anything you'd like to know as we take a look around and get behind the wheel. There we go, you got a powered lift gate. Is it one of those kickers too? That's a good question. I don't know if, I don't know if it's got kickability. Let's see. Yeah, I don't, I don't think that's a feature that comes with the Mazdas. Okay. Yeah, but decent sized trunk. Got little uh, side storage things that open up. Not very deep, but they are there. And then underneath you get a compact spare. So that's definitely a nice tab. And look at this attention to detail. Even got little foam blocks that keep this from rattling around. That's pretty neat. Oh, that is nice. Yeah. And then I like how you can fold all three seats separately from the back. So you could do this uh, this little one to fold the middle seat, bigger one to fold the left, and there's one on the right for the right seat. And then you'd have to adjust the front seats a little bit, but plenty of room back here. Really a great car for someone, a lot of different sorts of uh, walks of life, if you will. If you want a car for a single person, car for a couple, or a car for a family, smaller family, all of those can work out pretty well with this one. Yep. Getting on into the back. I guess this just really didn't want to fold all the way. The seatbelt seems to be kind of holding it. Hmm. Oh. It's like still stuck in fold mode here. There we go. Cool. Ugh. That one too. Yeah, I gotta get a little force. Really nice leather in this car. Feels good. It is really nice. All the materials feel nice. Do have heated seats in the rear in a signature trim and two 2.1 amp USB. A ports, some rear vents, no panoramic sunroof in the CX-5, but that's not, the, that's not a deal breaker for me. I, it's not for me either. Yeah. No. I'd rather have a smaller sunroof that I can actually open, but yeah. Mm -hmm. So what do we got in the chat? We have Moran saying hello. Hey Moran. Nuke Fishy Dude saying hello. It's been a little while since we've had Nuke Fishy Dude in. Yeah. yeah. Mohammed says hello. Hey. Rick Allen is wondering where we are. We are in Ypsilanti, Michigan, Willow Run Airport. Yep. Specifically, yes. Mm -hmm. Yep. And Nathan says, quote, I'm worried about the calendar. Its days are numbered. And I think that's uh, when you were asking if anyone knows any good jokes. Ah, uh, that's funny. <laughs> that's a cute one, Nathan. That is a good one. <laughs> days really are numbered. Cute. Neat. Nice. Cool. Well, hey there, everybody. Glad to have you on, you know. CX-5, not quite as exciting as some of the cars we've had in recently, but still a really good car, and we should talk about Mazda as a brand, and if they've earned themselves near luxury status yet. Are they still a commonplace car, 
or should they be considered kind of similar to Acura, Infinity, and sort of that near market, near luxury marketplace? I think they're making a good case for themselves. Lots of good uh, features, lots of good usability, good materials, good appearance, definitely good looking inside and out. I'd say the only place they kind of need to work on is powertrains, and that's tough for a smaller company like Mazda because they really don't have the big resources like some of these huge brands, Volkswagen, Toyota, Ford, things like that. They've got to do more with less, and that's why we're still seeing six-speed transmissions, which I'm fine with. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of just kind of simple power plants, mostly four cylinders. In fact, I don't think Mazda makes a six right now. I'm pretty sure they're all four cylinders. So, yeah, they uh, they got to work with what they've got, but I think they're doing a good job with it. A few other exciting things to note. We have some fun cars coming on later in uh, in the next month or so, so we'll talk about those later on in the live drive. And our donation goal today is 20 bucks. So for every donation, we'll do a launch. We'll do some inside on some out, a little shout out. If we get up to $10 or only $5 in the cash app, we'll put Alyssa behind the wheel. Alyssa's actually shot a review on this car before <laughs> last year, so she's a little familiar with it. We'll get her uh, takes on it at $10 and 20 bucks. I think we'll take this off road, is what I put. So Ooh, awesome. yeah, if we get $10 in the cash app or $20 through YouTube, we'll do a little off roading in the CX-5. Yep. Sweet. That's awesome. Any chats? Yes. Uh, Martino Bunny YouTube PP says, I got excited when I saw the new Mazda. Yeah. And Jonathan G says, hey there. Hello, hello. Bray Allen is wondering who owns Mazda now. I think Mazda's on their own. I mean, they've got some money from certain brands, but they're on their own now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Also, Jonathan G, shout out, I assume it's the same Jonathan G who is a happy new owner of a 2021 Lexus IS 350. So uh, shout out to him. Nice. Very neat. He's been doing Beautiful some flying car. lately, so yeah. that's cool. Cool. And Nathan says, the Mazdas are still commonplace, but they're nice. Uh, most of the Japanese cars are also nice. That's fair. Yeah, that is a good point. A lot of brands have been pushing themselves up. I mean, you get in a new Toyota Venza and it feels just as nice as this too. So does that mean Toyota's a luxury brand? I don't know. The, the, the threshold of what makes a luxury car these days has really changed because everything is nice and has cool features now. So it's like, you really got to push the envelope for quality engineering and usually it's coming into more things like advanced sound systems advanced powertrains and safety features mm -hmm. to get you a luxury car nice yeah Mohammed really likes this car and Martino says uh Mazda is 20 percent owned by Toyota 20 percent okay yeah so still fairly low but Toyota's got some some money in there okay neat cool all right well, let's hop on up to the front yeah Ooh. Okay, you know another thing that's exciting is we actually got to see the new Honda Civic hatchback yesterday. So I can't show you what it looks like. I can't tell you certain things about it, but I can tell you that it's cool and it exists. And I think people are gonna be happy with it. But that's just my opinion. Nice. Man, there's no facts to that. Cool. Oh, Parsa Aseki is in the chat and said, we bought a CX-5 like this, but a Grand Touring with a GT premium pack. It's really good, really reliable, isn't far off from the last gen NX, and they have an RX. Nice, yeah. that's really cool to hear. It's, it's neat to hear real world perspectives, especially somebody coming from a different luxury brand. And I agree, I, for one, probably wouldn't get the signature trim. This one we're sitting in is 39 grand. That's a bit spicy for me, but I mean, it really, it does fit the price for everything you're getting. I mean, these premium materials, decent sound system from Bose, Heated and cooled seats, decent driving, good driving dynamics. I mean, it, it, it's worth the price. I just, I would go with a lower trim. Grand Touring would be top for me. I'd probably even go a little bit lower and get the non-turbocharged motor. Wow. Yeah. Cool. So I, I don't need to go super fast to my Mazda, but luxury car buyers like that. Yeah. Nice. Okay, cool. That is the right Jonathan. Nice. He says he loves uh, the IS on the commute and can't wait to drive the IS 500. Oh yeah, me too. I'm really looking forward to that. That'll be a good one to uh, to tune in for, Jonathan. Mm -hmm. Neat. Biggest upgrade for 2021 in the CX-5 is the screen. Not only is it looking good and working just like the Mazda 3 and CX-30, but let's turn this air down. You throw the backup camera on and look at that quality. I know I'll try to move the car around a little bit here um, so it's not quite as much in the sun. But for previous Mazda CX-5 owners, you know your backup camera was pretty much trash. You're pretty much trying to back up using a Game Boy Color from the 90s. But now, <laughs> you got a 360 degree camera. This thing, uh, it works well all around the car and 
It looks so good. You can even pick, uh, let's see here. Is it a touch? Uh, I don't believe it's a touch. Um, I don't know how you switch those. Either way. Ah, uh, you have to do... It looks really good. It refreshes well. Much higher resolution and much bigger part of the screen. So, mm. huge upgrade there nice. for the Sex 5, as the Topher likes to call it. <laughs> the Sex 30 and the Sex 5. Mm. Uh, Ron Moran says, I own a 2019 CX-5 Signature and I love it. Mm. Thanks for your videos. I really enjoy them. I'm interested in information on the new SUV they will make in Alabama, if you have any info on. Alabama? Well, we know it'll be a very family-oriented car, if you will. Hmm. It'll get along really well with the other Mazda siblings <laughs> and Mazda parents, maybe step-parents. <laughs> um, but no, I actually don't know too much about it. All I know is Mazda's planning a lot of plug-ins and EVs coming up, and they look sweet. I like the sound of that. Yeah. EVs are awesome. Yes. When you do them well, they can be really great. Right. Yeah. Oh, by the way, Liz, I looked up the Mini EV earlier today. There's a Mini EV? Yeah. <gasps> 110 miles of range. That's sad. I know, isn't that pitiful? That's that's pretty bad for an EV, yeah. Alyssa told me that we can only sell the Tesla if we were to get a Mini, and I was like, well, there's a Mini EV, and we're not living with 110 <laughs> miles of range. Yeah, that's yeah. pretty bad, that's pretty bad. We have a couple of viewers, one from the Kingdom of Bahrain. Oh, neat. And another you guys one, are late. Yeah, and another one from Qatar. Cool, and well, thanks for tuning in. Some late night Friday video viewing. Right. What are you guys up to this weekend? You're gonna go do some hooning around? <laughs> You're gonna go be like those people in the UAE who drive the cars on two wheels? I gotta show you some of those videos sometimes. Yeah. Unless it's nuts. They like go like and then like get the car up onto two wheels and just balance it on its side. Like, That's hang amazing. On the yeah, you think you see some stuff. these AMG Mercedes that cost like five dollars to us and then yeah. uh you know yeah. right I'm wondering what time it is in Bahrain in uh, Qatar for you guys Qatar it's got to be about 1 a.m something like that yeah yeah cool anyways uh Parsa said the the power could be a bit more I would definitely recommend the turbo if you want to own one short term not like the uh not like the NA is slow, it doesn't have the kick I'd like. The Grand Touring has the NA though. Right, a lot of people like the turbo motor just to be able to, it's got a lot of grunt. Fun fact, when Mazda was developing this engine for the CX-9, they actually benchmarked soccer moms and parents taking their kids to school and they act, the engineers actually followed them along their commutes in their cars and sort of mapped out what sort of power they realistically use. Because realistically, uh, parents and, and and especially for the three-row SUV, the CX-9, they weren't flooring their cars, they weren't driving super hard or revving it out, but what they needed was that grunt to get up to speed, to get away from stoplights, that sort of thing. So mm -hmm. they intentionally designed this turbocharged motor to be grunty down low, give you that oomph, but it, it doesn't rev out that hard. Hmm. I love that. Yeah. I really love like actual engineers, manufacturers, talking to their target market themselves. Right. Yeah. Let's see how it skirts. You do have some paddle shifters. Ah. <laughs> some noisy tires. That was honestly probably the worst one for me that we've done in a long time. Because I, really, I really, really felt the car just struggling to stay on four wheels. Yeah, for those of you who haven't tuned in recently, we've had some spicy ones around here. We had the <laughs> Audi RS6 Avant, we had the BMW M5, we've had an M4, a Corvette, an M3. So Alyssa's been putting up with a lot lately, so for us to be in a bit more of a pedestrian car. Okay, but those cars are meant to go skirt skirting around tight <laughs> corners. They can handle it. They're right. like tracky kind of cars. This is a mom's car. That is true. And it's not meant to do stuff like that. Nice, look at that truck just whipping it. <laughs> Shout out to all Sharko the Express. <laughs> Sharko Express, what a name. I like that. <laughs> Sweet. Muhammad says the word Mazda is uh, derived from the Persian god Ahura Mazda. Really? I thought it was Japanese. That's a good point. Cool. You're getting yeah. learned at Daily Motor today, folks. 
And Moran says in all crossovers, he would pick, um, in all Japanese crossovers, he'd pick the CX-5 over everything else because perhaps he just likes Mazda in general. Well, I think Moran appreciates good driving and, and that's, yeah. what, that's what the Mazda delivers. Oddly enough, you know what crossover I'm excited for is the Lexus NX that just got redone. Mm. It's uh, eliminating all its issues that it had. It had, I didn't like the infotainment, I didn't like the powertrains, I didn't like the looks, and all three of those are fixed for next year's refresh. So that's going to be really good. <laughs> yes. Martino really likes Doug DeMiro. Oh, does he now? Yeah. Daddy like, Doug? Yeah, Daddy Doug. He's like, if the RX you reviewed was the same as the Topher's, you had the honor of sitting in the same car as Daddy Doug. <laughs> that blue one? Interesting. Well? The RS6, that was red, wasn't it? Oh, the RS, oh, no, 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 we looked it up. It's, it's a different one. Oh, okay. Yeah, the license plate's off by one. That's yeah. kind of cool, Martino. Right. What we ought to have is I've been in It was the GT he used to race in New York. And, uh, yeah, so that was cool. That's actually really cool. And the Topher's met Jeremy Clarkson, so that's pretty sweet. I would like to meet him someday. That'd be interesting. Apparently they were nice. He met all the Top Gear guys, and they were all nice. Wow. Well, yeah. Awesome. But Nathan would like to do that someday, too. Yeah, he'd be like most petrol heads would. Yeah. Yep. It's 11.20 in p.m. in Bahrain right now. Okay. That's not too bad. No. Do you want to watch uh, Car Reviews tonight at 11.20? I do want to watch YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, are we going to get a clean on-ramp for some skirting? No. Anyone just joining us? We are out driving the 2021 Mazda CX. So anything you'd like to know or see or just comment. We're hearing from owners on these more place sort of cars. Samadhi, we get it on Audis, uh, <laughs> Audis and Mercedes. But uh, yeah, we love hearing what it's like to really own these vehicles. So throw yourself in the comments if, if that's one of you. Or if you're a prospective Mazda CX-5 owner, what are yeah. your questions? What do you want to know? What do you want to hear? Or if you used to own a CX-5 and you hated it and you sold it, and let us know why. Yeah. Oh, baby. You oh, gonna get a truck any? coming behind us. Let's see what we can do. Skirty birdie. Skirty birdie. Again. We're gonna catch right up to this truck. And then slow it back down. I wonder if that cheese, that truck is probably like, what is happening? He's like, oh no, my insecurities are catching up to me. <laughs> the mom crossover thing is faster than my truck. Right. Right, 70 miles per hour on the highway. One part that Mazda is not super great at compared to a lot of the brands is active lane keeping. It doesn't really have any. It's got like a lane departure assist, but not really any sort of active lane keep. I we, really feel like that would be a standard most cars should rise to. At least on their top trim, but uh, yeah, like I mean, Mazda just doesn't have the vast engineering and development capabilities of some of the other brands. Also. We'd really appreciate you helping us get to our $20 donation goal today, or only $10 if you donate Cash App, Cash Tag Daily Motor. Helps us out, just helps pay for the gas, and uh, pay for us being out here and supporting all the content. Shout out to our members. Uh, I don't think we've got any of them in the chat right now, except for Nathan was in there. But those guys help us out month over month and help us bring you this cool content. Great. The ride is quite good, even on these 19 inch wheels. Absorbs the bumps well. I think Mazda does a good job of that too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Martino says his Mazda 3 has been great. Good. Ooh, Mazda 3. Nice. Yeah. I love the Mazda 3. Did you get a hatch or not? Yeah, you got that hatchback life or not? Hatch Which is a shame because the new Mazda 3 hatch, they pretty much made the back seat only accessible for people without legs. So <laughs> uh, I, I really detest how they did that design. It looks okay, but. Rear seat room, not good. That's unfortunate. I love hatchbacks. Yeah, me too. Yeah. It's nice because when you're putting stuff in the back and it's raining. You're covered. You're covered. That's a good point. Literally. This is technically a hatchback. 
Yes, yes. Uh, Parsa says, something that was weird for me mm -hmm. was that the Venza rode terribly. We test drove the Venza and the CX-5 back to back, and the 5 is way smoother. What do you think? I'm trying to remember. I thought the Venza was decently smooth, but there was a lot going on that week. It was the same week we got our Model Y, so I didn't care much about the Venza at all. <laughs> Preoccupied. All I remember about the Venza has a remarkably smooth center console feel. Mm. But, and, and then it was decently quiet. I can't remember much about the ride, but that is interesting. Maybe you were unconsciously comparing the ride quality with the Model Y right. and the Venza, and that's why the Venza seemed to be much better because be. Model Ys don't have a, a very smooth ride. Especially in the winter. Especially in the winter. The Topher drove our Mazda, or our Model Y today, and he's like, yeah, this ride's much better in the summer. <laughs> Also, it's broken in a lot, so. Right, that too. Yeah. Ron is asking which color you would choose for a muscle car avalanche. Oh, a muscle car. Avalanche gray or twister orange. Twister orange. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not getting gray on a muscle car. No. No one would see it. I'd get purple, though. I like how in the Hellcat you can get a purple. A few different purples. I That's think. a really deep purple, too, isn't well, it? Well, they make Hell Raisin and Plum Crazy. I just love those names. <laughs> yeah. Those names are awesome. Right. I would love to be on that part of like the getting to name getting to name colors. thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, I think it's cool too. Did you watch uh, Clarkson's Farm Show? We haven't really seen it. I seen haven't it yet. That is a good thing though that we should watch because I think that'd be entertaining to the yeah. both of us. So, yeah. I agree with that. I think it's interesting. He's kind of taken like a complete 180 from cars and does farm stuff. Right. Which I mean, now he has a platform, he can really push. Yeah, maybe someday we'll do daily motor farming, daily farmer. Yeah. Right in our backyard. I am gardening a bunch. Daily gardener, DG. Yeah, daily gardener. And we'll just have a whole daily video, uh, like, network. Daily yeah. gardener. Yeah. Daily Maybe farmer. I'll quit my own job and do, like, a, a gardening care. YouTube show. Daily baker. So that we're just a YouTube right. couple now, and then we just daily vlog our parents. lives, and then, yeah. Yep. No. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Daily murder. Yeah. Da no, not that one. <laughs> oh, Martino has a 21 Mazda 3 sedan. Okay. In in the red. And the Ooh, back nice. is pretty roomy. He says he's 5'10 and can sit uh, in the back seat behind, behind himself. Yeah, the sedan has much more room in the back. I don't know why they yeah. made room in the sedan but not the hatch. Yeah. The Lord Tachanka is hey. in the chat. What's up, well, LT? <laughs> he says, well, hello, hello, how are y'all doing? Are you sure that's not just NC Styles changing his name again? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. No, I think it's Tachanka. Yeah. Nice, man. Right. Hey, uh, Lord Tachanka, I got to sit in the new Hummer last week. Can't tell you anything about it, but it was... I can say that. I'm gonna say that. Cool. That was the EV Hummer too. Yeah, yeah, the new yeah. new one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm super excited about that. Hummers are just ridiculous. Mm -hmm. uh, so coming out with an EV one is gonna like launch all the other trucks and all the other brands and be like, shoot, we need to get ours out now. Right. Yeah. Well, it's also like Hummer was always like the anti-environmentalist car. So now where do they stand? Like, are you supposed to hate Hummer still? Or are you supposed to appreciate them, you know? Yeah. Cause it's still big and absurd, but it's also EV, green, yeah. you know? I want it to be as quiet or alien sounding, however you think of it, as the Tesla. Yeah, That'd be really cool. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Very neat. Mm, the Lord Tachanka is saying, sorry, I missed the other streams. I was not at those times. That's okay. And we'll one of them, you. I had just opened the stream and y'all ended. Oh remember, yeah, I remember, I remember that. that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sorry, bro. Actually, we ended it, and Charlie was like, "Oh, we should just start it right back up again and like just <laughs> Drive film home. us going home." And I was like, <laughs> "No." no. <laughs> and then we didn't. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, buddy. At least but, you made this one. Cool. Uh, Martino is asking, have you seen oh any of his YTPs of Doug DeMaro? I don't know what that stands for. I probably have YouTube poops. They're called. They're just like stupid, like compilation, like really? ridiculous oh. videos. 
I don't know if I've seen any of yours, but Nathan likes those, so he sent some to me. Gotcha. Ooh, and Moran asked that question about the colors because he wraps the Shelby in Twister Orange and wanted to know what your opinion is on that new color. Hey, That's nice. pretty cool. That's super cool. Yeah. Yeah, I'll have to check it out. Um, maybe, are you gonna put, ask him if he's gonna, well, I can ask him. <laughs> ask him. <laughs> are, you gonna, are you gonna put any videos of it on the YouTubes? Because you should. That would be cool. Yep. And the Lord Tachanka is saying that was so nice of you. Thanks, but uh, yeah. <laughs> yep. Cool, let's hop out and take yeah. a little peek see at this thing. I love this color. Yeah, it's old red crystal. Can you tell? It's better if it's Soul crystal. Red. That's because that's the first way I said it too, so it's just gonna naturally sound better. Well also like the what those words are. This is kinda neat. I didn't remember this before. This actually juts out from the top here in this uh grill here can concaves just yeah it is slight. very slight concave you're right yeah huh i like that i bet you this is where the adaptive cruise goes because it's like a fake it's you know it's just like uh, like the badge is all just a big plastic part i bet you the uh, adaptive cruise sensor is in there which is a classy way to do it it's hmm. quite movable Hey, how's the wind, everybody? Are you getting uh, ear blasted with wind, or is yeah. it nice and smooth? Because is it bad? Because like it's pretty windy right now. It's very windy, but we have a new little. Uh, I'll, I'll show you on the mirror. And see, the GoPro is wrapped in uh, in foam, and that should, in theory, keep the wind away. Theory. Yeah. Yeah. Also, what do you think of Alyssa's hair being curly? <laughs> I think it's pretty neat. Aww. Although right now it's just all wind blown. You gotta stand that way so that the wind blows it back and now you're like in a movie like look at my Mazda I drive a Mazda CX-5 because I am an action-y millennial who has money and wants to look good and you yeah. can tell by the wind blowing my hair that I am attractive the Lord says <laughs> the Lord does he Lord what say you of Mazda CX-5 I just CX didn't want to say Tachanka uh he said Tachi. It's okay okay it's okay. He also was asking you a question. Okay. A while ago, he left a comment. Mm -hmm. I wonder if I'm talking loud enough too. With the wind. Probably. A, a while ago, he left a comment about testing bass in a car, and since then, you started to do it. And he wants to know if he's responsible for putting that idea in your head, or if you thought of it yourself. Was that the idea of the, like uh, leaving bass settings set to zero and then doing the bass test and then sh turning them up? Because if so, then yeah, I think I got that from your comment. Um, if you're talking about just the general, like, testing base on a song, I don't know, I think that was just me. Yeah. Got it. If you all were getting a Mazda, would you get Soul Red Crystal, or would you get that new sweet dark blue that we had on the, on the Miata? Or would you get black? Or would you be getting gray? Shout out to the Topher who got gray. Yeah, not a big fan of that one. Sorry, Tof. I'd be getting one of these, but the Sorry, Topher's yeah. mother has a Miata and Soul Red Crystal, so redemption. Yeah. Yeah. yeah redemption. Yeah. Yeah. I would get the red. Yeah. I get. I get the red. The blue is really pretty. But mm -hmm. I, I do like that blue. In darker color, darker. Uh, lighting. Lighting. Thank you. It looks more uh, black. So in the, in the light, it looks really blue. Uh, the Lord says no. Just turning it, turning it all the way up. Oh. The bass all the way up, I guess. No, that was prob. I mean, it's possible I got that from you, but at this point, I th think was that was probably one of me. Yeah, there, there we go. go. <laughs> yes. Ron says I already uploaded a video doing a poll, and you can see a glimpse of it on the hood. Hmm. Okay. The, the color that he wrapped his Shelby in. That'd cool. Be cool. Yeah. And then. Tachanka is asking how Moran is and what super he what super we have you what super have you bought now? Oh yeah. well he got an RS6 Avant, so that's pretty neat. That's pretty dumb. Well and he also got his uh, E five hundred impounded, so Yeah. This is like this channel has become like a um a second degree channel for Moran. <laughs> so like, yes, we're talking about our life updates, but like we also have Moran in there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I like that. Mm -hmm. I think that's nice. Mm -hmm. Real fans here. Right. Okay. Wait, what are we looking at? Just, you know, showing them that booty. Not a fan of that super loud. Yeah, you're right. This car's there. a piece of crap. 
No, it's not. It's just, I would just kind of cringe if I'm in a parking lot and I got a shot at it, I'd be like, just for a second. <laughs> That's fair. Does this take 91 octane? Yes, it does. Indoor opener. Yeah, that's a pain too. I don't like those where I you have like to those reach all the way down like here. Little, little thing. Yeah. <laughs> Our Tesla doesn't have that. See, Mazdas are sneaky because it doesn't say to put premium fuel on here, but if you want maximum performance, you do have to use premium gas. Oh, that's really close on my face. <laughs> wow, Martino donated five bucks. Hey, that hey, means we gotta go man. do a launch. Thanks, Yay! Martino. And we're halfway to getting Alyssa behind the wheel. Just another $5 donation or $2.50 in that old cash app. And we'll get Alyssa drive this thing and get some of her impressions. Yeah, it'd probably be a little bit different because last year I knew far less about cars than I do now. Mm -hmm. So. And you owned a sedan, whereas now you do own a, an SUV. A yeah. Yeah. Um, Parsa says apparently the red scratches easily and it's pretty thin. Yeah. And the dark blues uh, apparently thicker. Huh. In terms of getting rock chips, it would be bad. I don't know. That sounds like some just like some, someone on the forums would say that. I mean, maybe maybe your information is coming from a more secure place than I realized. But they, Parsa does also own a CX-5. Yeah, I, I just feel like sometimes, you know, like it, you, you get some dealer rep who would say that or something to just try to like... to push a more expensive color. Maybe, or, or like sometimes like it's like the telephone game. News gets like misconstrued and That's stuff. That's a good point. But it may, I mean, I just don't see why they'd use like a cheaper, simpler paint setup for one paint versus the other. But right. I, could, I could be mistaken. Also, I feel like this steering wheel looks just as nice, if not nicer than the E-Class steering wheel we had. I don't know if you noticed or if we talked about it, but the E-Class, the airbag area was just like... Just like a big plasticky emblem and that's it. Hmm. And this is like, this is nicer than that. Not only that, but it has real buttons. I like Mercedes. the real buttons. I am looking Stupid at Stupid half dicks. Half what? Half dicks. Actually, ah. we'll go this way. Let's take this so we can do a launch for, uh, who would you say it was? Martino? Yes. Thanks, Martino. Martino Benito. and you'll see that we get a ton of wheel spin and then it, it kills it to eliminate the wheel spin. start doing like uh, 6 p.m. live streams are family friendly or like Tuesday live streams are family friendly Friday live streams are not family friendly how would you guys re like that would you would you like that it'd be all the same things just with a lot more swearing and dirty jokes absolutely yep let us know in the comments yeah seriously I actually am really interested in that question because there are a lot of things that we censor right. uh, and it's just a lot more fun if we don't so, <laughs> so uh, should we or should we not to, to do or to do not. Pam D is going to come and be like, ah, I think you should keep a family friend. Yeah, that's... Ah! Like right now, it would be... Uh... My mom's going to be like watching this one randomly and be like, oh, I can't believe. <laughs> well, 
was payback for comments about you last night. Yeah. Anyways, never mind. <laughs> Back to cars. Personal life over. Alright, um... The Lord is wanting to know how this compares. I'm just gonna... Uh, just That's gotta be sacrilege. I might... It's his name. I'm just <laughs> abbreviating it. <laughs> wants, the Lord wants to know how this compares to uh, the equivalent Toyota model in build quality and solid feeling. They're pretty similar. The RAV4 is fairly uh, good in that regard as well. You can't say anything bad about the RAV4 because your dad owns one. <laughs> I'm okay with that. Um, sorry, I'm distracted that uh, back there in this parking lot it had a big sign that said like no trespassing, criminal trespass and everything. Um, Interesting. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's go. <laughs> you guys, should we do it? Donation of fifty dollars. We should. Look, there's another one. That's no right, trespassing sign. Oh, nothing. Never mind. <laughs> it's like you when you gotta go quickly in the morning all the time. <laughs> um. Yeah, the Rav Four is very solid as well, but I'd put this just uh, equal. Equal. Equal to the Rav Four. Right. Which one would you get and why? This more premium materials, better driving, looks nicer. There you go. <laughs> Although the RAV4 Prime I would pick over this, but it's expensive, so. <laughs> Muhammad is asking why it's always windy in the upper parts of North America. No, it's just only windy when we live drive. The wind calms down right afterwards. It really does. It's like we. It's like. Tatanka says he heard from family who also owns this color mm -hmm. that uh, it does chip easily. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, there's some more hearsay. Uh, Might be true. Yeah. Ron says I did a burnout in a pole to 115 in quote unquote Mexico <laughs> that caused it to get impounded. <laughs> what is the quote unquote? <laughs> were you in Mexico or were you not? Well, if if it, if it's any solace, Moran, I got a speeding ticket yesterday as well. Yeah, he did. Yeah. On his motorcycle, so yeah. super, mm -hmm. super mm -hmm. cool. Motorcycle speeding ticket. Rip. Yeah. But the officer was really nice. He got me doing 26 over and only wrote me for five over. That was not. That is nice. He said he was happy I didn't run. <laughs> Cause he knew he probably wouldn't be able to catch up with you. Yeah. What he, was he in? He was in a charger. He'd have uh, trouble, especially because I could have like gone off road or anything like that. Yeah, you but. totally could have. That would have been cooler. <laughs> All right, let's get ready, y'all. to see uncensored videos all the time because there's no monetization on them so I just beep 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 all throughout member only videos. He does a lot. <laughs> but anyway. Continue. Yeah. Normally just edit that out. Yeah. Um oh boy motorcycle or moped? Slow motorcycle. It sounds like a dirt bike. It doesn't yeah. look like one. Uh, Martino says, yes, dirty jokes, everyone is so clean, and you can stand out. That's a good point. That's fair. Well, I think we'd get a lot of viewers, a lot of subs if we did that. Okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the Tishanka says, I would love, and love is all capitalized, that because I censor myself, because y'all censor yourselves. <laughs> That's fair. That's funny. All right. Okay. <laughs> and oh gosh, Tachanka says, "Please don't call me the Lord." <laughs> <laughs> Even he's like, "You made the name, man." We can just go back to Spooky Putin. 
<laughs> All right, man. I'll just call you Tachanka. Or Am I saying that right, by the way? I don't know. I'm, I'm asking. Him I'm I'm asking him. Call him Chonker. Uh, and he says Toyota is more reliable, though. Yeah, but you know, be this especially if you get the naturally aspirated version of this car. There's not much to break. I mean, it's just a naturally aspirated two and a half liter inline four, like six speed automatic. They've been building it forever. Yeah. Yeah, Toyota's more reliable, but like life's short. Look at Moran, he's his cars have a thousand horsepower. You think he cares about reliability? Nah, man, live a little. I also think he's got the wallet to do it. But. Well, it's because he's <laughs> something broken up with by two women. He's got the money. He doesn't have. He's not spending money on women. Right. <laughs> um, Pars is saying that's true. I mean, we got the CX-5 without going to the dealership. But yeah, that's understandable. Yeah. Be pretty cool. Um, Press also says it doesn't have a contraction, a contract, traction control off button in the all wheel models. Ooh, that's a big L in my book. Ah, ah sorry, nice. Ah, ah, nice cut. Hey, <laughs> then you have to let it drop. I didn't hit me, it hurt. Yeah, that's the other thing is people are snatching them up, so that's tough. Right. Ooh, and Tachanka really likes the idea of a RAV4 Prime live drive. You you wanted to get one of those, didn't you? We had a RAV4 Prime, but I think it was a mini loan, and it was busy because I had to shoot so much on it. Oh, I thought we didn't. I thought we just had the base RAV4, not the Prime. No, we no, that's right. You're right. We had a Primo. Nice. Wasn't that guy there last time we went around? That big ass semi? Uh, whatever. Guess what? Martino just became a DM supporter. Hey! Thanks, nice. Martino. We're going to have to do another launch then. Pretty and sweet. That gets us only $2 away from Alyssa being behind the wheel. Heck yeah, man. Yeah. yeah. Well, he was the one that donated it, too. Yeah. Sick. Thanks, Martino. Yeah. He's probably like, oh yeah, uncensored videos? Boo yeah. Here we go. Yeah. Once Nathan is more available in a few weeks here, we'll start making uh, some members only reviews where we just don't he, edit anything. He'd be really good raw. at that. He'd yeah. Be really good at that. Raw dog, some of these car reviews. Grip it and rip it. Daily, Words of uh, Nathan, Nathan Dreyer. <laughs> Daily Motor uh, Uncensored and Uncut. Yes. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Daily Motor Uncircumcised. <laughs> a little window into that. Look at, look at that. <laughs> Hmm. That's kind of <laughs> Weird children. Alright. Andre Mata says, hello, how are you? Hey, Andre. Nice see you. You want to hop out for a quick launcher? Sure. Alright. Yeah. Ah, that I was right. Martino said I joined immediately when I heard you make dirty jokes. <laughs> heard that you make them. I mean, I gotta censor his own name, but I make it funny, I think. Fair. Alright. Taking my things. Monterino outside. Too bad, can't turn traction control off, but. <laughs> Huge L in Charlie's book. Oh. That color is so pretty. What do you guys think of those headlights, too? Nice. I can smell those tires. It smells like fireworks. Oh, jeez. <laughs> you you kind of can't just turn the uncensored part off right now, can you? It's almost 5 o'clock. <laughs> Alright, that's for you. Thank you. Just set it down. Did it look pretty sweet? It looked pretty sweet. The car looks really good. 
when right before you take off when it squats down nice. it just looks really cool yeah you look good when you squat down too stop it <laughs> so these tracks up here fun fact everybody uh you'll get to see on tomorrow's video that goes live in our bmw m5 review i put it into two-wheel drive mode and uh hit the gas and oh boy did it light these things up look at those 11s beautiful wow that's yeah. pretty sweet mm -hmm. Oh, Yas is in the chat. Hey, man. Hey, Yas. We got all the crew. The only one we're missing is Pity Man. Yeah? Yeah. We can't have them all at once. I guess, we? but we got Shanko, we got Ron, we got Yas. Oh, geez. Right? Yeah. Yep. Not like, oh, geez, but oh, geez. Oh, heck yeah. Tachanka is saying, inline four. Why? Why? Yeah. With the barking <laughs> case. <laughs> because they're cheap, they're easy, they're efficient, and they're easy to package. They're small. Gotcha. Cheap, easy, and small. Yas is saying, I still don't see the join button on iOS. Yeah, it's not there, but I've started putting the link to join. So, Martino's saying, Mazda used to use crappy Nissan transmissions, but now they use Toyota transmissions, so they must be better. Yeah, I don't think there's a single thing Toy uh, Nissan does better than Toyota. And Toyota's like the best brand, Nissan's like the worst brand. Nice. Zarif is in the chat and Hello. says, Hello, I like this car it, so much, it is good. Well, it's, it's so cool, I like those headlights. All of those, true. Fun fact, you're not going to be able to see it today because it's light out, but my, the 6.5 now has uh, turning headlights, which maybe it had before, but I noticed it's not like most cars where both headlights turn like this. It's like one goes if you're going right and the other goes if you're going left. So it kind of looks like those Newton balls huh. where you like drop and the one goes the other way. Ooh, check out this M3 in... Uh, That's pretty! can't remember the name of this blue, but... Isn't that... Oh gosh, as long as it's not voodoo. So. It's not? No. It's a different. Very winkle. We've gotten so many clean honorings today. Nice. Good luck. Yeah. There's a RAV4. Yeah, too bad RAV4. You should have bought a more fun crossover. <laughs> hmm. X is in the chat and says, came in late, so how boring is the driving experience in this? Is X going to give it to us? <laughs> Uh, no, it's fine. The CX-5 is a decent, it, it, you can't turn traction control off, so that stinks, but the steering's well-weighted, the chassis's good, we've got some torque down low, so, you know, you can have a little fun. We've been tossing it, squealing them tires. Nice. It's fairly neutral, as we'll see in a second. I'm going to fly around a little uh, uh, turnaround section, and you'll see it just kind of, it's well-balanced. You want me to keep this on the road and you. while you fly around and we can see how balanced it is? Or? Sure. Yeah, we'll do that. Right. Rebel TRX or just TRX? Mm -hmm. rebel. No rebels. No rebels on this track. No. Zarif, this does have the Bose audio system. Yes. And in your opinion, Charlie, can this car go fast? Yes. Yes. Yes, it can go fast. Just two more dollars to donate and we'll throw Alyssa behind the wheel, but we only got about 10 more minutes left, so help us out pay for our fuel literally if we don't at least get ten dollars then we're losing money by doing these live drives hey yeah. <laughs> it's really gonna push us to do an uncensored one then Fridays. yeah you're all gonna have to each level of donation will unlock a new swear word <laughs> <laughs> it's like a video game right i like that that's funny Ron says, always when I see red Mazda, it reminds me of my Mazda Speed 6, and I can't find a clean one yet. Mm -hmm. Mazda Speed 6, those are good cars. Mm -hmm. Very good cars. Very good cars indeed. Flying. Nice. Parsa says, nice launch. Uh, the traction control is pretty liberal in Mazdas. Also, that is true. the signature has ambient lighting. I saw a blue hint under the metal going through the dash. I don't think so. It might have been reflection from this. No, no. Oh, hold on. Roof. <laughs> that Renegade
like it was like, ah, no. Don't kill me. <laughs> what about paddle shifters? It does have paddle shifters. It does, eh? Yep. Little plasticky ones. Yep. Nice. Uh, do you like the Toyota BZ4 concept? Yeah, it's a concept, so you never know what it's really going to look like, but yeah. It's cool. Okay. Kind of looks like a RAV4. Alright, cool. <laughs> um, and Parsa says the handling in the C5 is pretty good for what it is. And they're not an expert, but really likes how it handles. Yeah, I agree. I think it is quite yeah. good. Yeah, sweet. Alright, we're caught up on these. Awesome, that works out well because we're going to get wrapping things up here soon. Did Yas say what he's up to or how he's doing or anything? Not yet. Uh, nope. Well, we hope we're, you're doing well. Oh, Joshua John says hello. I missed that one. Hey, Joshua John. Yeah, thanks. Joshua. And Tachanka says Nissan still sucks. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be the new Daily Motor uh, like tagline. Instead of drive on, it's going to be like, we're Char it's Charlie from Daily Motor, and as always, Nissan sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Which we shouldn't say because Nissan just invited the Topher out to the new Frontier Drive. So. Nissan's great, guys. I don't know <laughs> what your problem is. They make really wonderful cars. I probably made it worse. <laughs> <laughs> are those tulips? No, those are lilies. Lilies. And okay. milkweed too, actually, for the butterflies. Oh, Look, there's a new Delta plane there too. There's two of them now. Oh, buddy, you wanted a friend. It was lonely. Aw. Ron's asking if it does his favorite things. Let's see. Mm. No soft limiter and does not hold gears. Got so, it. One of two. All right, sweet. And Zuri says, alert, there is a donation. Did, oh, yeah. I'm did Martino do another $5? That's probably in the cash app. Oh. He did. Oh, he did? I got another one. Another one. Another one. Okay, well, cool. We'll, uh, we'll put listeners behind the wheel. All right, sweet. I'll drive back to the lot. Sweet. Sweet, thanks, man. Yeah. Cool. Appreciate it. Ooh, all right, we've got another one. Okay. Oh, Parsa, thanks for that, man. That's sweet. Um, and Muhammad says, verdict Mazda CX-5. Reliable, cheap to buy and to maintain. Also drives pretty decently, and it looks good inside out. I know, there's very, very yeah. few things to complain about the CX-5. I will say 39 grand for this one's a little spicy, but you're also getting a lot. And we're going to save my seat setting. So unless it messes it up, I'm gonna get back quickly. Sorry, I don't think she knows what that is. Um, Cause that's a pretty new one. What? Uh, Nissan Aria. Aria. Uh, Uria. <laughs> urethra. The Nissan Urethra. It's a time. Brown, 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 brown. <laughs> we got more viewers for the Mazda CX-5 live drive than we did for the BMW M5. Yeah. yeah. That BMW, yeah, that M5 live drive was fun. It was, was. scary and really cool. I liked it. Yeah. Hey, guess who's in the chat? Who is it? Is Pittsburgh it Pittsburgh Man? Man? Yeah. Oh, sweet. Cool, Pittsburgh Man, you just missed it a little bit ago. We were bang, we were just absolutely. <laughs> we were dunking our Nissan. Um, you can read the comments too. Yeah, that's true. Uh, we also said you're the only OG that was missing. And um, nice. we were contemplating the possibility of switching Friday live streams to uncensored live streams. Um, there's, uh, the you know, mom's not, not like that. <laughs> there are a lot of channels that uh, will do, like PewDiePie, for example. His normal videos are censored, but his live streams are uncensored. Right, his Twitch streams? No, even this YouTube live streams. Yeah, you get on there and he's like, beep, 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 beep. Yeah, that's like, how but they censor him out in the video. That's how he had that whole scandal in the first place, right? Well, yeah, it was a Twitch stream, yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> that was more than just uncensored. Uh, Zarif said it's an electric car from Nissan. Oh, that's pretty, pretty cool. Yeah, which <laughs> we'll see how a uh, Nissan manages to do with an electric car. I mean, each. This car is just so easy to get in and just drive. Set your your seat controls to how you want them. 
and it feels uh, I mean I have driven this before it wasn't for very long though and it was over a year ago probably by now um, or exactly a year ago and it just still feels like I've been driving this almost every day easy easy peasy and um, Charlie's right I've been driving an SUV now what is the Tesla like a subcompact it's a compact okay yes larger a little bit larger than this but essentially the same class and it just feels so natural it's yeah. natural and normal and easy to drive we'll see how i feel about the transmission it's not like it, how close it would it be to a cvt it's not at all is it no okay oh good six speed you getting it So darn, missed the Nissan hate. Yep. <laughs> oh well, next time. Yeah. Well, I mean, the YouTube, it's going to be on the... Uh, yeah, that's true. You can watch it. I'll well, go around and then I'll go to the lot. Well, stay, let's end at this lot. Back oh, this the one, one we started at, yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. Oh boy, that Lion guy don't even give look. a darn. He did not even look. Let's catch up with him. That was weird. <laughs> did you see that? No, I did not. It's noisy noise. Are you gonna, uh... I don't know what I'm doing. I don't think you should be too close to this guy. You might be right about He doesn't that. look like he's, uh, too concerned about letting that car go. He's like, yeah, this Mazda definitely got insurance. <laughs> <laughs> that, sh the shocks are completely Oh, shot. they're gone, yeah. In that. Look how what do you think of the infotainment changes from last year to now? It's much better. We were talking about it earlier, but the backup camera looks great. Infotainment works well. It's not very laggy. It's the same system that was in that's in the CX30 and the new Mazda 3. Works really well. I mean, it's exactly what you'd want. I do feel a lane keep assist thing. Yeah, it it, it'll like bloop bloop bloop. Hey, shift it over, but it won't like hold a lane through the turn or anything. Um, what about like keeping you within a lane just while you're it'll casually gentle driving? Gentle nudges. I do feel that. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, usually they're just more annoying than anything. Is there if we're gonna need like a two hundred dollar donation for that? Because kissing is gross. What did he ask? He said I should kiss you. You nasty. <laughs> that's for that uncensored stream. No, that's an entirely <laughs> different stream that we're not even gonna entertain doing. <laughs> that's for the Daily Motor only fans. Yeah. Yeah. Which you know I'm still trying to chip away on, her, Alyssa, <laughs> but I don't know. Again, my mom's gonna be watching. Like, what is that? What's an OnlyFans? Oh, I should Google it. <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> well, you know, different sources of passive income. That's not what she was saying. <laughs> oh, God, I hope she never watches this one. <laughs> oh, Chevy Equinox doesn't care about his or her life. Understandable, you're driving Equinox. <laughs> Things we dunk on at Daily Motor. Nissan yeah. and Equinoxes. Yep. Apparently, Nathan really likes Equinoxes. Realistically, the Equinox is not that bad of a car. It's just, e it's it's an easy target. And it's everyone who drives one. Turbo sag. Turbo is when the accident. Turbo sag. Yeah, pretty much, honestly. That's kind of what I was going for. Sure. There, it's a whole different channel ending with Hub. <laughs> That's a good point. What's Hub? Um, there's a website. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Or 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 uh okay. or a different YouTube starting with red. This car is outstanding, you're right. That's it the moral of, That's the moral of the stream. I just went over all those things and it just felt so nice and yeah. awesome and easy to drive. One thing I actually really like that is a small pet peeve of mine in the Tesla is the uh turn signal column is like there's a lot of resistance to that column, so you really gotta be forceful and push it down. And it's got two levels. I'm gonna go this way. So it's got two levels, so you can it'll like the turn the turn signal will just beep for a little bit, and if you go another level down, it'll continue until you turn it off. This one, 
it just does it so easy and it's just it's like I don't have to think twice about it I'm like and it's just something that they do simple and it's just a tiny little thing I totally understand that but I like it and it just makes the driving experience so much more I don't know easy it's just it's an easy car to drive intuitive Very intuitive yes that's a journalistic word if there ever was one cool we're gonna get wrapping things up um Pittsburgh man is curious about our website recommendations. Uh, you know, our new sponsors, Pornhub and RedTube. Yeah, RedTube, that's a thing. That's a long, yeah. I've actually never heard of that before um, now. I don't know if it still exists, but it definitely did at one point. Um, blah, 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 blah. Uh, shout out to Martino Bunny YT Penis for being our um, said it. number one sponsor. <laughs> for today definitely appreciate Absolutely, the donations man. and the uh, support right yeah and new member yeah Zarif was curious what our impressions are of the new 2022 Honda Civic really good uh, good car tad bit boring both in design and driving but again the, the 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 driving dynamics match the looks of the car more mature more subtle a little disappointed in the fuel economy for compared to its competitors but uh, the new sound system's great infotainment's good and it's pretty. It's yeah. a decent car. Really nice. Uh, blah, 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 blah. See Charlie. <laughs> oh, goodness. Fun stuff. Well, any last uh, questions on the CX-5? We'll get to them here, but we're going to put on our flip-flops and wrap <laughs> this thing up. Yeah. You want it on or off? Let's turn it off. It's been too much getting turned on this chat. Jeez. This stream. You just like, not turn it off anyway. <laughs> Oh, let's. Can you set the uh, hotspot on the dash? Yeah. Thank you. Oh, Zarif, uh, we couldn't do. We can't do live streams on the Civics because when when we got the Civic, it was under embargo, which means we're not allowed to talk about it until everyone gets a fair chance. So we had to keep our video hidden until the the proper time. So we couldn't do a live drive. I mean, in theory, we could have pre-recorded a live drive, but that would have been kind of stupid. Yeah, it wouldn't be live. Right. Just, Just be, be like a drive. Review. Right. Uh, blah 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 blah. When's the next live drive? Um, Tuesday. Tuesday at six. Yep. We'll be driving a Porsche Cayman GTS manual. That's how That's excited awesome. I am about that. Yeah. You wanna? You guys wanna see that again? Do it again. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, first Porsche for Daily Motors. Gonna be big next week. That's gonna be an excellent car. Oh my gosh, flat six. Mmm gonna sound good Perfect. that is gonna have to go on the uh, one of the recommendation websites instead of YouTube because it will be uh, x-rated that's how good that car is gonna be <laughs> anyway uh, very good very good yes 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 cool yeah next week Porsche I, I actually I think it's a Cayenne it might be a, not Cayenne Cayman I hate how similar those names are might be a Boxster I'm pretty sure it's a Cayman That'll be Tuesday, and then on Friday, we will not be live streaming because we have to go out to a race because I'm racing next weekend out at Gingerman Raceway, so we'll already be out there. So no Friday live stream, and all you're missing is a Volkswagen Jetta. So Don't worry about it. Yeah. We've got two very distant ends of Volkswagen next week, uh, a Cayman GTS and a Jetta. So good thing we're showing you the Cayman. <laughs> uh, Alyssa's very funny. Will Alyssa be driving the manual? Probably not, just because it's our first Porsche. We yeah, want to make yeah. sure everything goes smoothly. Although maybe we'll give her just a little, just a like parking lot feel of how nice that manual transmission is. Yeah, we gotta play by the rules on that Tuesday live drive too. So yeah. good and, thing it's a Tuesday, not a Friday. Right. Although you know, in the loan agreement, they say spouses are allowed to drive the cars. So once we're married, you'll be totally clear. For Killer. Yeah. That's why we should do that. All right. <laughs> cool. Well, thank you all so much for watching. And uh, we'll see you next week. Everyone have a good weekend. Drive safe, have fun, especially you, Moran. Yeah. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. We're Charlie and Alyssa from Daily Motor, and as always, Nissan sucks. Just kidding. Drive on.